Hey guys, it's Tara and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be making Twix bars. That's right, but these are paleo, low carb, and absolutely delicious. Before we get started, I would love for you to join our community, so smash that subscribe button. Here is a list of the ingredients we'll be using today. They will also be in the description box below. In a small bowl, we're going to take two cups of almond flour. The almond flour will help to keep this paleo and low carb. Then we're going to add one half of a teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then I'm going to grab some coconut butter and I'm going to add one fourth of a cup to the mix. Coconut butter has protein, potassium, magnesium, iron. It also contains lauric acid and studies have shown it actually benefits your cholesterol level. Plus, it tastes really good and it actually helps great with this recipe with binding it together. To that, I'm going to add two teaspoons of plant-based milk. I use unsweetened almond milk. You can use any kind you like and I'm giving that a really good mix. I realized I needed a little bit more, so I'm adding two more teaspoons of the almond milk. We're looking for a consistency, kind of like this here, where it sticks together, but it is not too dense. That's what we're looking for. That's just about perfect. And then I'm grabbing my silicone mold. I love this mold, I'll link it below. If you don't have this mold, you can use cupcake molds, you can use a tray and cut them into shapes. And then I'm grabbing this melon baller, and I'm gonna scoop some into each of the wells because then we're gonna bake this. I do have my oven heating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit also. So I'm kind of getting this all into the mold. You could even put this in like a big tart pan or little tart pans and just kind of make a Twix tart. I have done that before and it's delicious. So after I added all of it to the molds, I just tried to make them as even as possible and then I put it on a baking sheet and stuck it in the oven. I cooked it for about 15 minutes but give or take between 10 and 20 minutes until it looks kind of golden. Now we're getting ready to make the caramel. So I grabbed a can of light coconut milk and one cup of coconut sugar. I love coconut sugar. It contains antioxidants, iron, calcium and potassium. It is not refined and low on the glycemic index. Next I grabbed one cup of the light coconut milk and I gave it a good stir. With this coconut milk, I keep it in the refrigerator, usually upside down, but I actually didn't just use the cream part um, because my can wasn't cold enough, but it worked out just perfect. And I'm just whisking it up. This whole process takes about five to eight minutes. Then I added one teaspoon of vanilla extract right towards the end, because I didn't want to cook this into it too much. I wanted to have the best flavor with the vanilla. Now look at that. That's what we're looking for right there. It's really darkened up and it's become a syrup. Now I've poured it into a container, my glass container to make it easier to get it inside the mold. And I filled each mold with the caramel. Now in hindsight, I probably should have used a little bit less in each one because I ran out and I had three that did not have any, but that's okay. Then I grabbed two dark chocolate bars. If you want this to be vegan, make sure they are vegan chocolate and one teaspoon of coconut butter. So I broke the chocolate into little pieces in a microwave safe bowl and stuck it in the microwave at 30 second intervals. Keep stirring and make sure it doesn't burn or you can use a double boiler, but I didn't feel like doing that. Then I added one teaspoon of vanilla extract to that and the teaspoon of the coconut butter that I also warmed up. And now my chocolate is ready. I grabbed a baking tray and lined it with parchment paper for easy removal of the Twix bars. And that's what it looks like. Oh, that caramel is so gooey. I did stick it in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes uh, prior to me starting this process. So now I'm just coating each one with the chocolate. I would recommend using two forks to do this so you don't get your fingers dirty. And here's what they look like once they're done. I realized I did not have enough chocolate, so I grabbed six squares from a third chocolate bar and did the same process. And then I grabbed two of my silicone cupcake molds and I started adding all of the extra pieces to it. I realized I needed a third one, so I grabbed another one and I just smushed it down. These actually turned out great. And it just goes to show 
Flexibility is really important when you're cooking and you know it's gonna taste good. Uh, so it just worked out great. I topped each one with the chocolate and I decided to add some coarse sea salt to the top of this. I love the mixture of dark chocolate and salt. It is so good. Then I set everything into the freezer and here's what it looks like. Oh my goodness, these were absolutely delicious. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think of these. I made about 40 of them. I can't even believe how easy it was. I absolutely love this. If you like today's video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to join our community. So smash that subscribe button. I post new videos every Sunday. And be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I post there all throughout the week. Well guys, thanks for cooking with me. See you next time. Bye guys.